All right, everybody, in this Java tutorial, we're going to create a very simple temperature conversion program, and we're going to do it in a couple of iterations. The first one, it's just going to be with pop-up windows that it's going to start just assuming you want to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And then we'll uh, enhance it, and uh, eventually we're going to turn it into a full-blown, like, uh, windowed app. But for now, we're just going to get started. We're going to use Java Swing for this. And we're going to go ahead and start uh, by doing it. I'm going to go from the very beginning. I'm going to create a new project. So I'm going to start with File New, and I'm going to make it a Java project. And then we're going to just call it Temperature Conversion. OK, that's the name of the project. And I'm just going to have this create separate folders for sources and class files. And I'm just going to click Finish. Next, I want to add my program, which is going to be a class. And so I'm going to write, I'm just going to, on the Package Explorer, by the way, if you don't have the Package Explorer, you just go to Window, and you can Show View, and you can find Package Explorer. There's also a Project Explorer. You might want to try that one out. I'm going to do Package Explorer, though. I'm going to right-click on the project itself and choose New Class. So in Java, everything is formed out of classes. Each class is the blueprint of an object. And when you name a class, you should name it uh, a, a noun, because uh, classes are things. Um, and so we're going to call it just converter. The other thing is we're going to make it very, like I said, very basic, just kind of getting started. So I'm going to choose the public, static, void, main, string, args. Pirate speak for main method. And then, bam, it opens up in the window. In our perspective, we can now start editing this. Um, we should add a little comment header. And look at that. It kind of knew. Eclipse knew I wanted to put my uh, username in there. So we can call this, uh, like, file name or project name, I'll just put project. And just do a little comment header on here. Um, put a little description on there. All right, and then I'm going to hit enter. And now, um, I just, this is just for comment's sake. I'm just going to go ahead. Uh, if you want to take a look at that, uh, you can. It's just project name, description, and who you are. Uh, I'm going to close that for now to save a little space so we have room to see what we're doing here. And we are going to use pop-up windows. That uses uh, Swing. So we're going to have to import that so we can use it. Import javax.swing. dot star there and a lot of times in Eclipse you get these little yellow warning notifications and that's just that it's never used well it's I've just got started here so when you see those little orange underline just be patient you're probably gonna get there now to avoid going into all of the details about classes and some of that we're just gonna focus on programming input output math and some of that stuff so we're going to put everything inside of our main method. Okay. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to declare our variables. And so what you're going to do here is you're going to determine what variables we need for the program. So thinking about this, we're going to need several variables. And uh, we need one for Fahrenheit, one for Celsius. Now, it doesn't matter if we're going to convert between Fahrenheit and Celsius or Celsius and Fahrenheit. We're still going to need those two variables. The other thing we're going to need is we're going to need a variable to capture our information. It must be in the form of a string, unfortunately. So we're going to need even another one to grab the temperature that the user is going to produce. We're, so we're going to do that. And we're going to go ahead and be friendly and get to know the the, the user's name, so we're going to even include a variable for their name just for fun. So we're going to declare, oops, I'm sorry, let me go back. We need Fahrenheit and Celsius. Now, to convert, you're going to be doing some multiplication, division, and some of that stuff. 
And you're going to want a precise number, even though uh, temperature, someone might say it's 50 degrees, right? Um, and so usually people would think in terms of integers when they talk about temperature. But when you do the conversion, it's going to be good to get an exact number. And so we're going to use a double precision floating point. So we're just going to go ahead and declare them as doubles. Now, you can put all of your double variables in one line separated with commas, and that's what we're going to do. So it's Fahrenheit and Celsius. And really, if you're just converting between those two, unless there's some kind of a constant variable in our equation, we don't need another variable for that. However, as I said before, when we're doing those pop-up windows to get input, we're going to have to uh, get it as a string, and then we're going to have to convert it to a temperature. So we're going to go ahead and create some strings. The first one, oh, by the way, string is with a capital S. Um, name, and we're going to put... Um, we're going to call it temp input. And we're going to do that because whether we want the user to tell us what the temperature is in Fahrenheit or Celsius, it doesn't matter what we name it. So we're going to give it a generic name that counts for both. So temp input, we're just inputting the temperature, right? A thing you should know about variable names, guys, is uh, start for these with lowercase letters. Okay. And when we combine two words together, um, I'd like you to use what's called uh, Pascal case, I believe it is, where the first letter is lowercase, and then the next letter, if you're combining words, is going to be uppercase. Okay? So initial letters are always little. And that's one of the ways we're going to be able to distinguish between a class and just an instance or an object. Okay? Then we're going to uh, go ahead, uh, let's welcome the user. Uh, get user's name. Actually, we might want to get the user's name first. It's up to you. And we're going to get the temperature. And then we're going to um, convert to Celsius. And you're going to thank the user. Okay. And so that's going to be the, the way the program is going to run. So I just went ahead and created comments. Now, in Java, to do a single line comment, you just do slash slash, forward slashes, two of them side by side. Okay? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do as we welcome our user, we're going to use output. And to use output, we're going to use J option pane dot. Now, J option pane is going to be a window. Okay, but we're going to make it as a pop up window. And it can show, and in this case, it's going to be show message dialog. And uh, one of the things you're going to notice is on each of these, you've got, like, you might see something like show message dialog, and you're going to see three different versions here. So the one we're going to do is, uh, I think we're going to use this one. And so I'm going to just double click it. And immediately, it's going to give you some options, okay? These are called parameters, parent component, message title, and then there's more uh, message type, I think it is. With each of those parameters, when we tell it what it's going to be, so what is the parent component? That's uh, what does the, the option pane go inside of? Well, it goes inside of nothing. So we're going to give it null. It's not inside of something, and that's what makes it a pop-up window. Now. Um, so that's our first argument. So when we are telling it what it's going to be, it's called an argument. The next one is going to be the message. Okay. So we're going to say, welcome to the Java. Now, I've, I'm running out of space. Okay. And everything's moving off to the side. Now, I've zoomed in quite a bit. But a good coder actually usually will keep the number of characters in their window to around 80 or so, maybe less, maybe more. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start typing it. If we start running out of room, all we have to do is put like a space and hit enter. Now, it doesn't like it the first time. Let's do it again. Now, once I hit enter, you see what happened? It, put a, it, it closed the uh, quotation mark, put a plus sign. That's called a concatenator. It's how you build. And what we're going to do is we're going to build this string. So then it puts another quotation mark here. And... Um, Actually, it's not Java. We're going to say temperature conversion program.
quotation mark. Okay. Uh, now you might want to add more information here, such as you know, um, you, you know, we're uh, you're going to give us the temperature in Fahrenheit, and we'll tell you what it is in Celsius. And that's going to be the first version, right? So you could say that. Now, one of the things that we're going to do, it's a little different. Um, you might not have thought about this before, is that we're about to write a lot of information in here, and it's going to get long and somewhat unwieldy. There, it's a common habit among some programmers um, to create kind of an output variable that we can drop in here to kind of make it so that when it's the show message dialogue, it's just simpler. So we're going to go ahead and add that little piece here. So I'm going to put a little comma and I'm going to put output. Okay. And then I'm going to put output here equals, and now I'm going to take all of this, I'm going to cut it. Control X to cut, Control V to paste. Okay. Semicolon at the end. It doesn't like that, so I'm going to put output here. And now it's starting to like it. See, output, output, output. Okay, we don't have our title yet. We don't have our message. So let's go ahead and put that in. Um, and let's put welcome, because that's it's the welcome screen. And then message type. Uh, and as we get low on room, we can always hit enter and take it to the next line. Actually, we have backspace. There we go. And okay, so the message type, you're going to say J option pane dot. And here, we've got all these little options here. These are constants. And uh, it's going to be a plain message. So we're just going to go down to plain message. Actually, I'm going to do one uh, information message. So I'm using my arrows, and I'm just going to hit enter. And I'm going to put a semicolon there. And at this point, it actually likes what we've done so far. And so let's go ahead and test it out since we got something to try. Hit, hit enter and see how that works. Okay. Well, there it is. Welcome. Welcome to the temperature conversion program. And that's about the right width for our screen. I think I'll start doing a new line after here. And so what I can do here is I can put a backslash N for a new line. And um, you. Double check it. There we go. Oh, look at that. Wow, I hit that line return right exactly where I wanted to. All right, so you just click OK, and uh, there's our welcome. All right, so before I go to part two, we're almost out of time. I want to just show you how we get the user's name. Now I'm going to code it, and it's going to go kind of quiet, and we're just going to see it in fast motion, me coding. Uh, then I'll we'll talk about it. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're taking the variable name, and now we want to get some input. So it's just like the show message dialog, only it's show input dialog. So dialog is that dialog where you interact with the user. Also null, what's your name is the question, and you can change it so it sounds nicer, like, but before we begin, why don't you tell me your name, something along those lines. Name, this will be the title, and then this will create the question mark in there. Let's go ahead and test it out and make sure that's working. So we click on here, and what's your name? And okay, great, so that's working. And in the next video, we'll talk about getting temperature, converting it to Celsius, uh, and we'll work from there.